Causality is one of those phrases like free will that needs to be carefully defined. There's this one wrong idea that it's worth getting rid of right away, which is that either the world is governed by cause and effect, or anything goes, like anything just random events should be happening. And clearly that's not true. Clearly it's not anything goes, therefore it must be governed by cause and effect. But that's not at all true. Cause and effect is a very specific way of thinking about the chain of events that happen in the world. It's a useful way on our human scale right? Where you move your arm and you knock something off the table, it falls down, and you say, oh, that thing fell down because I bumped into it with my arm. But that becomes a less appropriate way to talk when you're talking about fundamental physics. So there's a question, what is going on? at the fundamental level, and the answer is the laws of physics. The answer is a pattern given to us by equations, like the Schrodinger equation or Einstein's equation or whatever. Words like cause and effect are nowhere to be found in that vocabulary, but there's still an unbreakable pattern, the laws of nature, the laws of physics. So it's certainly not anything goes. It's just that you need a much more modern, updated vocabulary to talk about what does go. If the laws of physics were indeterministic, that means you couldn't predict what will happen next, but it doesn't mean you have some contra-causal influence over what happens next. It doesn't give you any libertarian free will. In some version of quantum mechanics where wave functions collapse spontaneously, it's not my volition that is making them collapse. And likewise, if I'm a compatibilist about free will, if I say that free will emerges at the macroscopic level, then it has nothing to do whether the microscopic laws are deterministic or not.